Hi, this is Chris, and uh, thanks for tuning in. This is a, a wee film I made about um, Edinburgh, and uh, just for anybody who comes to stay in the flat and wants to know st about stuff and whatever, it's a one-man view of, of Edinburgh, and that's just about it. Uh, you can stay in the flat and just spend all your time just looking out the window and watching terrific views of Arthur's Seat and all that good stuff. It's fabulous. And obviously the... Uh, the guides to Edinburgh will tell you all of the major sites to see, you know, Princess Street, George Street, um, Charlotte Square, all that kind of stuff. So I wanted to just take you a little bit uh, off the beaten track and give you an idea of uh, from where we are, what, it, what the city looks like. And maybe if this can help you have a good time, that's terrific. I mean, the first thing to say is obviously you realized why you came here without a car. It's probably the best thing you can do is learn how to use the buses. £2.50 will buy you uh, a day ticket, which means you can jump on and off any of these uh, Lothian buses. And uh, we've got some details in the flat for you about about that as well. So terrific value, um, information everywhere about where you can get on buses and all that kind of stuff. And it's a terrific way to see the city because uh, one of the key things you'll actually find about Edinburgh is all of the action happens above eye level. I mean, as you're riding around a, a bus upstairs, uh, trust me, you'll see lots of different things in terms of architecture and be able to see people, people watch and all that good stuff. Um, it's a terrific way to see the city. It also allows you to kind of venture out a little bit further than you would be saying in the kind of tourist quadrant, which is uh, Princess Street and the uh, the Royal Mile. And in fact, I haven't featured any of those places here in this little uh, photo montage, if you like. Um, we're building stuff for the, uh, obviously, for the trams that are going to come shortly. But, uh, you know, it's the detail in the places that you see and the, the little things which are so important. Um, just wandering around at street level and on buses gives you a great idea of stuff that's going on. And I'd like, I'd like to say to you, you know, get yourself off the beaten track. Get down to Leith Walk as an example. It's a terrific place, is Leith. And uh, there's lots of groovy little cafes down there, places to look at. You get great, terrific coffee at uh, lots of different places. This is one of my particular favourites, but hey, the, there are a whole load of them down there. Uh, and you'll enjoy it. The other thing to actually say is, uh, when you're wandering around, try and get off the beaten track. So, for example, I'm going to suggest that you go right down to the west end of, uh, of Edinburgh and find uh, a little place called uh, King Stables Road and then wander up it towards the grass market, which is one of the older parts, and you'll go underneath the, the castle. But on the way of getting there, you'll actually see some amazing things. There's uh, uh, lots of different views of... Uh, that offered um just it's it's a terrific place it's kind of off the beaten track and yet it's right under everybody's nose so it's one of those kind of best kept secrets the other thing to actually say about it is as i keep kind of coming to is um i photograph a lot of stuff and it's just detail there's lots of interesting details around the place and you'll undoubtedly have a better photo set of photographs than i will this is just to give you an impression the other thing to say is that you'll probably notice lots of different places and spot them from, you know, rebus, um, novels, or even films. Uh, and that's probably quite true. You know, there's lots... Uh, Edinburgh's been a, um, a location for lots of films and lots of TV. So keep your eyes out for that. It's also got some very strange sort of uh, traditions and uh, names about things. And you just got to keep your eyes open and you'll see them. And um, either they'll tickle your fancy or, or not. Uh, it's a terrific place for, as I said, you keep looking up, you'll keep seeing things. Because uh, there's all sorts of weird and wonderful things uh, around, particularly around the grass market, which is in uh, really off the beaten track a little bit. And as you can see, again, if you keep looking up, you'll keep seeing different perspectives and, you know, cobblestones at your feet, but terrific vistas and, and things to look at. And there's a couple of things which I would point out to you as well, which are, um, there's lots of great museums. You'll find them. Um, there's places like J.K. Rowling apparently wrote her first book there. 
I don't know, maybe it's true or not. And of course, museums, as we said, Chamber Street, terrific museum here. And finally, you can come back to the flat, chill out and relax. I hope this helps.